Welcome to our final podcast episode. This is episode four, Area and Regular Shapes. Today we will take all that we have learned and use it to find the area of shapes that don't look like your typical figures. First, what does it mean to be in a regular shape? Irregular shapes have a combination of sides and angles that are different sizes and lengths. They are easy to pick out because they don't look like what we consider a normal shape. Here are some examples. In your notebook, draw two examples of what you would consider a regular shape and two examples of what you would consider irregular shapes. Take time to pause our podcast now to do your work. When finding the area of irregular shapes, you must use a combination of regular area and distributive property. We can't just use our equation because our measurements are not all equal, nor do we have only four sides. Instead, we use the distributive property to break irregular shapes into smaller rectangles and squares. We find their areas, add them back together, and get a total area for the original figure. The figure shown is an example of what this would look like. The biggest problem that comes about with an area of irregular figures is making sure that all side lengths are understood. This is where our knowledge of rectangles and squares comes in. Let's see an example of all of this put together. First, you have to divide the figure into two smaller rectangles or squares and label them A and B. Label all measurements on the new figure. Use what you know about rectangles and squares to help find missing numbers. Use the distributive property and find the areas of rectangle A and B. After finding both areas, we add them back together to get our total area for the whole figure. Now it's your turn. Here's an irregular shape. Record your calculations in your notebook as you work. Remember these steps. 1. Divide the figure into two smaller rectangles or squares. 2. Label all side lengths. 3. Find the area of each smaller figure. 4. Add the areas together to find the area of the larger figure. Your notebook will be checked in the morning to see that your work is complete and that all steps were used. Our episode has come to a close. To close out your work for episode 4, please visit your Kahoot Challenge on our website. You've done a fantastic job of participating in our podcast in the flipped classroom. I'm so proud of all of your work. You are ready to move into your final project. Have fun and keep learning.